Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome back. So let's, uh, in our last video, we actually drive Z in, in which is an input, input impedance of a transmission line, which looks something like this. Uh, Z0 multiplied by whole thing ZL plus G, JZ0 10BL divided by Z0 plus JZL 10BL, BL. Uh, this was actually my input impedance, and this was the circuit that we were working with. So now, the next step that I want to do is this. I want to find out, I want to find out what is actually my incident voltage, which we are calling it VO plus. All right. So the incident voltage, so if you recall the circuit that I have drawn, that is going to be something right at this point. Before it entered into that transmission line, what is that, in, uh, what is that incident voltage? So if, if I were to shrink this circuit down, the circuit would look something like this. I have my ZG. Okay, so this is my ZG, impedance of my generator. This is that voltage of that generator that is being generated. This is my ZN. So I wanna find out what is this voltage? What is the voltage? Even though my generator is generating 10 volts, but due to that input impedance, how much voltage is going into my transmission line? This is what I want to find out. Okay. I have some current which is going in I, and then I have some voltage which is across this is going to be VI. Just like we have drawn this circuit. So now we know what is my ZN is. So now I want to know what is the actual voltage which is going into that transmission line and going towards the load, which we have called previously VO plus. So if you recall it, what is the definition? What is the Ohm's law? So VR, V is equals to IR. So in our case, this is going to be VI, the incident voltage, times I of Z. This with respect to my Zn. So now I'm just basically replacing my Zn in a circuit diagram in terms of a resistor, Zn. So I hope you understand the premise of this, 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 what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do, we had a circuit like this. Now we know what my Zn is. We want to find out what is that VO plus that is going inside that transmission line. So if I want to find out what is my VI that is going just right at this point, so if I were to look at it, this is nothing but a uh, voltage divider, isn't it? So if I were to look at it, this voltage divider looks something like this. So this is going to be VG. Okay. This is going to be VG times it by my Zn. I want to find the voltage across this guy. So the, the thing that is in a voltage divider, the thing that is going, you're finding a voltage across it, it's going to go on top divided by Zn plus my ZG. This is how I remember it. This is how I remember my voltage divider. Whatever, so if I have a voltage divider, if I want to use voltage dividers, let's say I want to find a voltage across this guy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on top, whatever the generator voltage is, multiply that, divide by both of these resistors. All right? So this is my voltage divider that I'm going to use. I know something else too about voltage. I know we evaluated V of Z at a point negative L, isn't it? You also remember this from the last video. Why? Because if you remember it, if in, in my complete transmission line model, at the lower we said the location of Z is equals to zero, but somewhere behind it is my generator. So that location is some negative value. So we call that negative value to be negative L. So our equation turned out to be VO plus E the so JBL instead of negative is actually positive because if I were to input negative L, this negative negative will make this positive. Plus gamma E to the negative JBL. This is based on the definition that we actually looked at it. Okay. So this is that voltage definition that we know. And this is VZ when z is equals to negative l this is at this point which is actually my vi all right so now if i were to calculate my vo what if i were to calculate my vo positive what is that so this whole thing turns out to be this this voltage is actually is v of g 
times it by Zn divided by divided by Zn plus Zg. All right, this is this. So when I when I move when I when I move this when I move this guy here when I move this guy here. So I need to find out what is my VO plus is. So I know what my VI is, which is actually VG. Zn divided by Zn plus Zg. This is what my VI is. So if I were to solve for VO plus and VI is equals to Vg times Zn divided by Zn plus Zg. So when I'm going to move this on the other side. A negative J B L. So I'm going to move this. So basically I'm dividing it. So this is going to be 1 over E to the J B L plus gamma E to the negative J B L. This is going to be my V O plus. This is how much my voltage is going in in the presence of my input impedance all right so i hope uh, you like uh, this small tutorial on this and if you have any questions uh, just leave it in a comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel